Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary, middle, and high school age. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly plan with me in my Erin Condren vertical weekly life planner. Before I start, I actually am going to just go through my monthly goals and check off some things that I've done because I have not come in here to do that. I do keep track of my daily habits pretty much every day. I try to come in and check that off, but I'm not as good about checking off the other things. So the first thing is our homeschool break, which we are at the tail end of right now. So I've done that. Living a life of intention. This is part of a series that I'm working on in my membership community and we are well on our way <laughs> to making our way through that series. If you're interested, I will leave a link for my membership community in the description box if you would like to join in. We're having a lot of great discussion uh, and I'm excited about the rest of the month. The New Testament, I've been pretty good about this uh, staying pretty much on track. I have fallen off the past several days, but I plan to catch up today. It's Sunday when I'm recording this, so I will have plenty of time to work on that. Budget and spend tracking reports for last month, I have done part of, and I will <laughs> have the rest of that on my weekly plan this week. Holiday plan and prep, I have not done anything for that yet. Well, that's not entirely true. I did order one advent calendar from KiwiCo. They are on sale right now. They have three different versions. They have come out with a new version each of the past three years, well, including this year. And I'm really excited about this year's. It looks like a lot of fun, but they do have some in stock for the previous years. So I will leave a link for that in the description box if you're interested. They are available now and you can order them and they're a lot of fun. Um, my kids have a ton of fun doing those every year and you can save them. And that's what we've done the past couple of years. We've just added to the scene, essentially. Decide 2024 goal planning and yes, I have done that. And one of my tasks for this week is to actually edit my video that I made for my membership community all about the planners that I'm using for 2024 changes and just a lot of my thoughts. I will eventually share what I'm using for 2024 on my YouTube channel as well, but this is kind of like a sneak peek and a lot more in depth than what I will share on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be well, it will already have been posted by the time this video goes up. So <laughs> you can see that. I will leave a link for it in the description box. Homeschool planning. I did homeschool planning the first two weeks. Even though our second week was vacation, I did work a little bit on homeschool organization and stuff. So I'm giving myself credit. I do need to do homeschool planning today. I have started it. I will just give myself a check because as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to record a homeschool plan with me. Uh, weekly planning I am doing right now. So I will check that off. Uh, passion projects. We did screen free day. We did New Testament zoom call. So originally when I wanted to do this, I wanted to do it live, but it is too late in the day. It's I think it's like eight o'clock at night and I just can't, I can't do it at eight o'clock at night. So I've been watching um, the recordings that they send out spend tracking. I've done weekly project in my home planner. I have done and I did my newsletter last week. Okay. Okay. Then the first thing that I am going to do is my weather stickers, which I got these from Planner Kate, these little mini ones, and they're black and white, and I wish they were colored, but they're not. <laughs> I do have these also from Planner Kate, but they're a little bit larger than I wanted, but that's what I'm going to use today. So each I don't do a ton of stickers, which if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you will know that. Uh, but I do like to do the weather stickers. So that's what I'm going to start with. Okay, the weather is looking pretty good for the week, not so good for next weekend. And I'm kind of hoping that that changes because Emma has regionals this weekend. 
If it's raining, that is not going to be fun at all. She actually will have cross country all week. She has been sick. Unfortunately, she missed her race this past weekend because she is sick and that was a huge bummer. I'm hoping that she feels better and can go back to cross country <laughs> uh, this week because it is her last week. I don't know times or anything, so I will just put the stickers there for the time being. So what I do each week when I am sitting down to do my weekly plan is I do a brain dump list in my Erin Condren Daily Duo. There's a week between Sunday and Monday, so I can just write down all of the things that I'm thinking about. I am actually feeling really good about this week because this past week we had off, so I spent a ton of time doing a lot of deep cleaning and stuff. So I don't have too much on my list. The other thing that I've been working on is how I'm utilizing my home planner from Passionate Penny Pincher. And I did purchase the 2024 planner. I have a full review and walkthrough if you're interested in that, but I am hoping to continue using this. I kind of stopped in March through July-ish because I cannot use a horizontal planner. I tried from September to March, uh, September 2022 to March 2023, and it just did not work for me to have a horizontal planner with a Sunday start. But I really love all of the lists in here and they have been instrumental in helping me create a home management system that works for me and my family. So I am planning on continuing to use this, but just not writing a ton of stuff in it, mainly using it for all of the checklists, which if you don't want a physical planner for that, they do have a digital version. I think it's like 16 or $17. And it has like PDF printables that you can use, or you can use, like if you have an iPad, and GoodNotes, you can use it with that. I don't really do digital planning all that much. Um, so I just come in here and look at what the project is for the week. And this week it is organize the coat closet. And I do have that down here, our entryway closet. I'm planning on working through this week, getting all of the winter gear up here. I know it's only mid-October, but we've had snow this early before. So I wanna make sure that I have all of the winter coats and boots and mittens and scarves and hats and all of those things up here. So I just need to work on that uh, this week. But the home planner has been very, very helpful for me. This week also, I'm doing my weekly time inventory uh, with my membership community. And this is to kind of help me figure out my realistic ideal rhythm that I want to go into 2024 with. It won't necessarily be anything, I won't be making any drastic changes in the next couple of months. It is a way for me to see where I may be able to make some efficiencies with my time or adjust some things you know, general things week to week so that I am being as productive as possible, but it's mainly so that I can kind of think about what I want the first quarter of 2024 to be like. We're working through this series in my membership community on living a life of intention, and this is part of it. So I'm working uh, through this time inventory with my members this week, but obviously you can start it at any time. Um, this is a free printable uh, from my website as well. If you are interested in, <laughs> in doing it, I will leave links for all of that stuff in the description box. So I need to make sure that I am keeping this at the forefront of my mind and um, carrying it around with me is very helpful. <laughs> Just putting it on a clipboard and then keeping it in my kitchen because I tend to spend a lot of time in my kitchen or just bringing it back and forth from my kitchen to my office. <laughs> so that is something else I'll be working on this week. And I'm and I'm doing that partly to help my members figuring out their realistic ideal rhythms, but also so that I can have a good understanding of what I want my rhythm to be like for the beginning of 2024. This is in the Power Sheets, the 2024 Power Sheets Goal Planner, if you're interested. I think that they also have it in the Fresh Start Daily Goal Planner, as well as the 90 Day, which is a weekly undated. The Daily Fresh Start is a daily undated, um, but this is the year version. And so each season you have this weekly rhythm ideas section and doing the time inventory beforehand 
makes it so that when you are making this weekly rhythm ideas, you're being realistic because oftentimes what happens is we either underestimate or overestimate the amount of time things take. We don't build in margin for things like travel or packing up the car if we're going to an appointment or whatnot, as well as um, transition time back into the home for homeschooling or whatever it is. So this is very helpful to make something like this actually realistic because it's very easy for me to come in here and just block out time of how I want things to go. But if I haven't done this first, this is not going to be realistic and it will be more of a challenge to stay consistent with this, especially if I've underestimated my time um, or overestimated the amount of time. I'll either waste time or I won't have enough time. Okay, that was all of the preliminary stuff <laughs> that I needed to get out and share with you. Um, but what I'm going to do is just work on one half of the week at a time, just because it's a little bit easier to write when I have it folded in half. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I did not do, <laughs> Last time I did my weekly plan with me is write homeschool down. Now I'm going to be homeschooling every day this week and that is not going to change. I don't really need to write it down, but it it is always nice to just kind of remind myself that I do have homeschool. So when I'm writing down other projects, I'm seeing I still have to homeschool and that's the most important thing. I will also write time inventory down here and I am going to be working through the time inventory with everybody in our band group, which is a separate group that my membership community has access to. It's it's essentially very similar to a Facebook private group, but you need a link to be accepted into the group. Like I have to share a link with you in order to be in the group, um, but it gives everybody a chance to sh share pictures and videos and such that they also are interested in doing. Wednesday is our passion project day. Man, this purple does not look good on the orange, but there, that is what it is. Um, we are going to have our Monday meeting and I'm also going to go over the next six weeks. It's actually closer to five weeks, five and a half weeks before we break for Thanksgiving. I cannot believe that we are almost done with our first semester. Breaking our school year into six weeks on one week off, the six week sessions go so fast. It's very, very quick. And we also need to talk about NaNoWriMo. I can write that. And I have a video explaining how we use NaNoWriMo, uh, which is Nas National Novel Writing Month. If you're unfamiliar with it, I have a video on how we use that for our language arts, for homeschooling. So I just, I need to make sure that I'm doing all of this. It makes our Mondays a little bit more full in the morning so that I'm not planning too many projects on Mondays. I do want to get the sheets and blankets done. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of that. I think, I think I'll be able to do that tomorrow. Although honestly, I should probably do it Tuesday or Wednesday and so I can hang the stuff out on the line. But I'm going to do it on Monday because what will end up happening is I will not get it done and then next weekend we're busy. So Anyways, okay, time inventory. I need to clean my computer desk off. I spent a lot of time this past week getting my office all cleaned out, working on the unfinished part of the basement, cleaning out my master bedroom closet, getting rid of a ton of stuff, so I feel really good, but I do have a pile of paperwork on my computer desk that I need to take care of. Ideally, I would get it done today, I'm not sure if I will or not. We will see. Apple jelly. I need to make some apple jelly. Will I do that today? It's like 12 right now and I need to make the apple juice for the apple jelly and then it needs to sit overnight. I won't have time to make the apple jelly tomorrow. So I am going to wait until, oh goodness. I think I'm gonna wait until later in the week to do that. Maybe I should do it tomorrow. I'll put it here. <laughs> We'll see. Some of these things may get carried forward in the week, but if I, that shouldn't take me long. That shouldn't take me long. That shouldn't take me long. And then the rest of the day will mostly be homeschool. I have a Sam's Club pickup tomorrow, but Matt is going to do that. So I think it's 
five. I do need to do my budget. Can I do that tomorrow? Well, my budget is pretty much done, but I need to do my reports from last month that I'm keeping track of everything. I will have a whole budgeting series in November, I've been working on it. I'm trying to get everything together so that it's concise and helpful for you rather than just me spouting off what I'm doing so that there are like actual steps. Um, so I need to work on that and then spend tracking for this weekend because I paid like a ton of bills and did a bunch of shopping and stuff, grocery shopping, Sam's Club vitamins, that kind of thing. Okay, that is a lot for Monday. That's all I'm going to put because the rest of the time, I mean, this stuff isn't going to take too long. Tuesday, I'm going to put entry closet. I want to clean that out, wash the floors, kind of tidy everything, go through the shoes because I know that Lucy has some shoes in there that no longer fit her. Jack might as well. And then Thursday, I will do the winter stuff. I also need to, I'm gonna put this in blue. Jack's color is blue. Jack needs boots and pants <laughs> and shirts. And I need to look and see if there are any sales I have tried to find him boots. He's kind of like at this weird size. He's like at a size seven kids, I guess, or like a six men's. Those are sizes that are challenging for me to find. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble finding winter boots for him this year. I have a board meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow, I actually have a weekly plan with me going up that I have edited, but I need to finish the description box. Wednesday, I have my monthly reset from October going up, and I also have a live Q&A with my members at 2.30. And if you are interested in that, every week, most weeks, I have either a live co-working session where we work using the Pomodoro technique, 25 minutes of focus work followed by a five minute break on anything. Um, if you've seen authors do writing sprints, booktubers do reading sprints, there are productivity sprints, pretty much anything. I will either work usually on some sort of planning type things or I will do a hobby the month of August, I spent a lot of time knitting and reading during our co-working live streams, which was a lot of fun for me, and I want to incorporate more of that. But this week is a Q&A, and essentially that is come and ask me any questions that you have about home or homeschooling or planning or goals or whatever you want to ask me. Um, we've had some really good discussions over the past several weeks, and those are always available for replay in my membership community as well. I'm going to write Christmas here and here. And when the kids are at the library, I will just work on Christmas stuff. <laughs> I know it seems so early, but honestly, it's not early. It really, it's not early. I need to do some editing on Tuesday for my videos. I need to edit what I'm using for 2024 for planners for exclusive content. And then I also need to do, I think I'm actually gonna film here on Tuesday. Film. So I am going to be filming a video on how we take our long homeschool break from Thanksgiving to New Year's. Uh, I'm working on a collab with Abby from Rooted in Rest and Jessica from The Waldock Way about what I wish I knew before I started homeschooling. And then I also wanna go through the quick start guide and wildcard pages that I got from Cultivate What Matters. I did my affiliate order where I placed an order and purchased the power sheets and the fresh start daily and the season by season weekly planner a little bit early. I purchased those, but I did not get the quick start guide or wildcard pages. And then once uh, the release day or launch day for power sheets came, I decided I really also wanted those. So I purchased them and they came in the mail uh, a few days ago, but I have not gone through them yet. So I really want to do that. I am making 
turkey chili today so that will be leftovers for tomorrow and then I'm going to do soup here and then we will probably have leftovers here and what else do I have for these three days I think that's it so I will put homeschool again here. Friday is our screen free day and it's meh, it's going okay. <laughs> there are definitely things that I want to change, but those will happen after cross country is done, I think. For the time being, I'm just I'm just not sure. Friday, I know that we are going to do salmon for dinner because Emma has her race on Saturday so that's night before race meal for her so that is what I will do there. Thursday I'm going to do winter gear and put away summer stuff. I have like beach towels and uh, all kinds of bathing suits and snorkels and goggles and things that just need to be put away for the season. We're not going to be using those anytime soon unless we go to a hotel and use a pool. Um, we don't we don't need that stuff out right now. It's just taking up space upstairs so I need to get all of that put away. Friday I am posting all about our NaNoWriMo plans and again I will have links for that in the description box if you're interested. I do need to edit on Thursday, I think. And then on Friday, I will work on my budget series and I have some planning for next year that I'm working on and I need to do my Friday free write posts. Probably should do those on Thursday, but I think I'm going to put them on Friday. This is all stuff that I will work on early before my kids get up because we have screen free day. So I try to stay offline as well. Honestly, I do not know why I keep putting <laughs> the schedule for football on my planner because it is terrible right now. Uh, they have only won one game. They play the Raiders today, so we'll see, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> It's always possible, I guess. And then one other thing that is kind of fun, and I will look for a different sticker. The countdown to Christmas on Hallmark starts on the 20th, so I'm really excited about that. Emma and I love all the Hallmark movies. <laughs> We really do. I have no idea what I'm going to do for dinner on Thursday. It will probably be either leftovers again or eggs. I'm not planning anything for the weekend because I just don't know how Saturday will go. Sunday I will most likely make chili again. That seems to be. I either do like a big pan of like a sheet pan of nachos or like a pulled pork or chili turkey chili, veggie chili, something like that. I forgot to write time inventory down here and here. I should do it on the weekend as well, <laughs> even though we will most likely be gone most of Saturday and Sunday is just a different day anyway, so I'm not sure these two days will be all that applicable to my planning because um, they're a little bit different, but I think that is just about everything that I have for the week have my project on here. I'm not writing down all of these tasks because I have a few daily tasks. If you've watched any of my daily plan with me is I have four daily tasks that I try to do each day, which is clear the floors, vacuum, clear the surfaces and clean off my office desk. Those I do every day. These other things I try to get to throughout the week. Obviously I clean the bathrooms and restock toilet paper and stuff, but I don't really do them on the days that they have them in this planner. So I just kind of leave the planner open and check off things as I can throughout the week. So that's how I've been using this and how I plan to use it going forward. But this is all I need to work on for my weekly plan. And then the front part of our week is always a lot heavier than later on in the week because I like to kind of have not a ton of stuff on our screen free day and just kind of ease into the weekend, decompress from a busy week. Uh, but I will come in and take all of this stuff each day and time block it in my daily planner and then add any other extra to do type things as needed. So this is my plan for the week of October 16th. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions about anything that I talked about, please let me know in the comments or you can email me. My contact form is always in the description box. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.